happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a huge amazon nail supply haul for you all plus um some pr unboxings and so yes i want to show you guys all the items i've been purchasing from amazon over the last couple of months in case you all don't know i do post amazing deals that i find on amazon on my community tab i do post that every tuesday and then occasionally i'll i'll post um hot deal alerts they can actually be posted on my community tab at any time that i find a really really good deal that i want to share with you guys so let's get into it so the first item that I have here is some silicone molds. Um, I believe I paid either $2.99 or $3.99 for these. Yeah, and so it came with four different silicone molds. I'm gonna give you all up close of what it looks like, but this one here is a Christmas themed one. So it has a snowman, a reindeer, a quilted hat, mittens, um, gingerbread, Christmas trees. So I just thought that was really cool. So if I want to make some DIY nail charms um, around Christmas time, I have the option to do that. This little reindeer is so cute. Um, so yeah, that's what that looks like. Um, this one also has some crosses on it, which is really cool. And it has like this little circle at the top, which makes me think that you could actually make a necklace out of it, which is pretty dope. So yeah, I have that. Um, it also came with these beautiful unicorns, um, another cross, and one of the main reasons I got this kit is because it has the unk on it. So um, I love that they have like the original cross on here as well. Here is just more shapes and symbols. I thought this was a pretty good deal. I think essentially it breaks out to about a dollar um, for each silicone mold. I also got this Model Wands Color Cube from Amazon. So this was, I believe I paid um, $5.99 for it. Yeah, and I, I believe I listed this on my community tab as well. So let me show you guys what this looks like. Okay, cool. So I've been wanting to try this. I've seen this color cube all over YouTube and it just looks really cute and compact. Um, so this is what it looks like. It looks like an eyeshadow palette. That's what it really reminds me of. And I'm just going to open this up. Let me see. Okay, so I'm going to open this up here so y'all can see the colors that's included. Ooh. Yeah, these are gorgeous. Wow. So yeah, it comes with a white, a silver hollow glitter, gold hollow glitter. Um, look like a rose gold. All these are hollow. Um, a light pink, a purple, a black, a blue, and another blue. And I also like that it that it has that white, so you got like endless color options. So I think this is really cute. It's really compact. It's going to be nice for travel. So and it's like a magnetic close to it, which is I don't know. That's really nice. So I am going to go ahead and put this right back on just to kind of protect the integrity of these cream gels. And then it also comes with a gel brush, which is nice. So um, yeah, it's a Model Ones brush. It's a round tip brush, which is really cool. And then um, the nice thing about it too is that the tip, um, you know, turns into a handle for the brush. So I thought this was a pretty good deal for $5.99. I just, like I said, I've been seeing it, been wanting to try it out, so I have this. Oh, and this is what it looks like on the back. This one is called Sparkle Party Solid Gel Polish. Next, I hauled this, which I thought was really cool. Um, this was $5, and it's cool because it's essentially like a nail card display. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more, but it's something that stands up. It's kind of like a picture frame, in a sense, but it's nice because you can put all of your... Um, you know, if you have like a certain gel polish collection, or even if you have like a nail salon, um, you can put these out on display within your nail salon. And another thing that I thought was cool about this is the fact that this sheet comes out. Yeah. So this sheet actually comes out and it can be something where if you have like, um, if you want to put your nails, if you want to put certain nails that you've um, created on display just to show, you know, give your customers options or just have it on display in your nail room, um, you can do that too. So I love that you can do, you know, both sides of the picture frame if you wanted to. So yeah, I'm not sure which side I want to use it for. I originally got it because I actually um, sell press-ons out of one of my friend's shop here locally. And so um, I got it so that I could put some of my nails on display. Um, but I might actually end up keeping it here in the nail room and, and you know, swatching a gel polish collection. But I haven't decided yet. But I thought this was really cool to have. So, yeah, I got this. The next item I picked up is this. Yeah, I ordered this from Amazon. This was also $5 and some change. Um, this one, I don't know. When it arrived, it looked like it had kind of been beaten up. But, you know, I guess for the price, I can't complain too much. But, 
yeah, I didn't feel like this was like a new item, but honestly, I didn't have time to return it, so I just let it be. But yeah, I got this because I've really been wanting another um, rhinestone, a thing to flip over the rhinestones, and I just thought this was really cute. This is what I've previously been using, and it definitely works, but I just wanted something that was cuter, so I got this. And so this comes with actually three different hearts, right? Yeah, this comes with three different hearts, and so you have different sizes. You can use the top and the bottom. So this essentially gives you like, let me move this out the way. So this essentially gives you six different trays to be able to flip your, um, this essentially gives you six different trays to be able to flip your rhinestones over with. So I thought this was really cool. And then it also comes with the wax pencil to um, use as well. So you can put it here. And it comes with, let me, let me just put it in here. Okay, so these are the different heads that it comes with. So it has one, and then it has one where you can maybe pick up like three rhinestones at a time. This one where you can pick up maybe like five or six and like put it on your nail in like a straight line. Um, this one looks like it's a mini scraper, so that's nice. So if you wanna scrape up rhinestones that may be dropped. And then this is another one where you can put a lot of them on. And then this here is for if you want to pick up one rhinestone at a time. And I love that this is double ended. So if I wanted to have this on the other side, I could. So I thought this was a really cool tool. So this is a rhinestone picker. And then it also has this here. So this is the wax, right? And you'll just, you know, poke, um, poke it through and pick up some of the wax. And that's how you'll be able to pick up your rhinestones. So yeah, I thought this was a really cool deal for just five bucks as some change. And this is here too. I'm not 100% sure what this is, but it's sticky. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what this is or what it's supposed to do, but um, it's here and I have it, so that's nice. The next item I picked up here, this was $4.99, and I thought this was really a really great deal. So this is a gel polish kit, and it comes with primary colors, which I thought was really nice. I've never tried this brand before, but you know me. I love trying new things. So this is the gel polish kit that I got. And I'm gonna just show you guys really quick what the colors look like. So it comes with the black, a red, I'm sorry, a black, white, red, blue, uh, true blue, and then a green. So these are some great primary colors. I do wish that it had it came with a yellow or an orange instead of two blues, but you know, still a nice kit nonetheless. Get a, take a closer look at these colors here. So this is the black. Yeah, that's a really nice black. Yeah, that's really pretty. Yeah, I like that. And this is the first blue that it comes with. Nice and creamy. Yeah, the, the formula feels like it's really nice. Um, but obviously I'll need to swatch it to know for sure, but it's looking like it'll be really nice and opaque. This here is what the white looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. This is what the red looks like. The blue. And the green. So yeah, this was a really good deal. Again, it was only $4.99, a nice deal for primary gel polishes. The next item I have here are these gel liner brushes, and I believe I paid either $3.99 or $4.99 for these, and I thought they were a great deal. I've been eyeing the gel liner brushes from Beatles for a while, and honestly, these look like the exact same thing. So I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. It comes with five different gel liner brushes, and so I'll go through and show you all each one. I love the fact, too, for the price that I paid, that they all come with lids. I have an issue with my gel uh, my gel brushes drying out because you know if they don't have caps and so I'm happy these all have lids to them so I'm gonna show you all what the gold one looks like this here is like a medium size liner brush okay feels really nice and fluffy so that's what that looks like and another thing I really love about these brushes is the handle so it has like these really beautiful like crystals at the end so just the aesthetic of them are just really nice as well um, so the black brush here oops okay that all came off is a 
is the long liner. I did already open these up off camera, so that's why the brush is already fluffed out a little bit. But yeah, this looks like it's gonna be a really good liner brush. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. So this one is like a little bit longer than the first one I showed. And I love, again, the crystals in the handle. This is the blue one here. So this one is a really short liner brush. So this one you'll be able to get more detailed work, line work with it. And then the last one is this really pretty paint color. And this is the shortest of them all. And again, you'll be able to get some pretty detailed line work with it. So yeah, I thought this was a really good deal. Again, under five bucks for five liner brushes with lids. Can't beat it. The next item I picked up here are these stork scissors. I think that's what they're called. I don't know, but I've seen a lot of people with them and I thought it was time to upgrade my little, my little standard scissors that I think I use from like a sewing kit. <laughs> some really nice scissors so yeah I thought these were a really good deal um, it comes with uh, this pair here which is like straight scissors and they do seem really sharp which is nice and I love the detailing on the handles really gorgeous and really beautiful and then this is the second pair I got and this is the one I guess that is the stork I don't know it has that little bird looking thing I don't know um, but these are really sharp as well very very pointy but love the detailing on these I thought these were a great deal um, again I think I paid like five bucks maybe six bucks for them so yeah excited to just upgrade my scissors okay the next item I hauled here is a press on nail kit and I actually listed this on my community tab uh, about a week ago maybe even two weeks ago but this all of these items in here was only six dollars y'all so this is perfect for somebody who does their press on nails at home or even just wanted to get some almond shaped nail tips this was just a good deal for all of this stuff so let me show you what's included the first thing that it included was 600 almond shaped nail tips and it comes in a box so this came with 600 pieces so let's take a look at how they look okay so this is what the nail tips look like really really mm, they're like okay they're like average full cover tips they're not like super duper sturdy but you know once you add a couple layers of gel polish or if you want to go over it with some builder gel in a bottle um, it'll give it enough strength so this is what the sizing of the nail tips are looking like let's see it doesn't exactly go sidewall to sidewall on my nails um, but this is still a good deal for the price and I love the length of these like these are like an active length you know everyday people can wear these which I really like I'm really starting to really fall in love with the almond shape um, especially in like short to medium length like I just think it's great for everyday wear so yeah I really like these a lot I do think they're probably made for people who have narrow nail beds but I'll still be able to get some use out of these. And then also, um, like I said, I do make press-ons here locally for uh, my friend's nail shops. So, yeah, and this is what it would look like. Um, so, y'all, I actually have been growing out my natural nails. So, these are my real nails. I haven't had a chance to film a lot of nail content, so I've just been letting my nails hang out and grow. And so, it's crazy to think that this nail tip is actually the exact same size as my natural nail. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys that, but that's what it would look like on the index finger, and yeah, so yeah, my nails tend to grow out really long in general. I've never really showed that on my channel because a lot of the nail sets I do, I just use uh, full cover tips or nail extensions. But yeah, y'all, like I might just go ahead and see how long I can let my nails grow because I've been I've been enjoying my length again. It's been a while, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what else came in the kit. Also came with. Two of these nail stands you guys like this is a great deal so I've been doing press on nails a lot more frequently now and so this is an example of what this what these look like so it's just like a stand that's magnetic and you can just um, put it on take it off as you're making a press on nail set so I didn't really want to open these up just yet but yeah these are really cute they come in this rose gold color the kit also came with some putty so that you can put the nail tips on there it came with some lint-free wipes, which you always need lint-free wipes. 
It came with a cuticle pusher, which you could never have enough of these. And honestly, I lost my last one, so I'm happy to have this. It came with a nail buffer. It came with some nail glue. And I believe this is brush on nail glue. Yeah, it came with brush on nail glue, so that's awesome. And then it also comes with a zebra file. So you guys, so literally for all of these items, So literally for all of these items, which you would easily pay almost 20 bucks for if you're buying them all separately, brush on glue, 600 nail tips, the nail stands, the putty, easily you guys can pay $20, over $20 for this. I got all of this, six bucks. You guys, please stay tuned to my community tab because again, I don't always have time to film hauls or videos exactly when I get items so I always try to put them on my community tab first so that you all can snag them when I see them so yeah this was a great deal I hope you guys were able to get your hands on it because this was an amazing deal the next item that I picked up is um, these nail this nail tape I essentially use these for the press on nails that I make to put them on the cards for display so I picked up two of these I can't remember how much I paid for them I have got a kit I've used most of it now, but it came with, um, I think it came with 120 of these and two of these big rolls of the nail tape. And I think I only paid like $11 and some change for it. So um, if I can still find this listing, I'll go ahead and link it down below. But it was a really good deal. I've used most of these little display thingies now, but I think it came with 120. Was it 120? Or maybe 64 of them. I can't remember you guys. But yeah, I love the fact that it came with all this nail tape because this has been clutch for me. And typically what I do is I'll kind of pre-prep it. I like to keep a lot of these nail stands handy and ready to go. And I've, um, let's see. Let's see if I can find this. Don't mind how dusty this is, but this is just one example of how you can use that. I just took an old picture frame and took out the... The backing of it and so made a little display and I have a few other displays I'll show you guys you know at a later date but so yeah that's what I got from here the next item I literally I think I just listed this last week on my community tab these are some more full cover tips these are almond shaped the cool thing about this this was $5.99 and it included 1800 nail tips you guys and what I really loved about it is that it, it included extra packs of the most popular sizes which I think was number five and number four so yeah this right here is going to last you a lifetime now I will say the very first time I bought these I actually paid twelve dollars for them and then when I saw them go on sale for five ninety nine I hurry up and listed on my community tab so that you guys can get your hands on it because I actually really like these nails a lot um so yeah these are the two packs let's see so yeah it comes 600 pieces here 600 pieces here 600 pieces here and I believe each individual pack has the additional nail tips in it let me just open one up and show you guys let's see let me move this out for later <clears throat> so this particular pack let's see yeah okay so as you go as you can see it comes with two number fives which is great and then it also comes with is it kind of two number fours? No. Yeah, it does. And then it also comes with two number fours, which is also really awesome. And then it comes with, you know, your standard sizes, the zero, the one, two, you know, all the sizes. But I just love that they include extras of the sizes that um, we typically run out of first. So you get three packs just like this, which is like unheard of, you know, for $5.99, all these nail tips. Like typically you would pay like six dollars anywhere from like six to ten dollars maybe even ten dollars for, for this one pack alone so to be able to get three packs of it for six bucks that's a steal y'all like especially if y'all do press-ons if y'all you know do your nails at home like this i mean you you can't get a better price for full cover tips but um let me show you guys how these nails fit and now so again, it's going to be a little hard to see because, you know, my natural nail is a little long here, but um, it does look like it's a pretty good fit sidewall to sidewall. And these tips actually feel a little bit sturdier than the previous ones I just showed. So I actually like the quality of these a little bit more. But I mean, again, y'all, for these prices, you can't beat it, you know. 
And let me see how the zero looks. Okay, this is a zero. Let's see if this one fits sidewall to sidewall. That's what the tip looks like. You know, very nice natural length everyday nail, everyday nail. Yeah, again, this one doesn't fit sidewall to sidewall, but it's something I can make work, you know? Uh, but yeah, these these look like some really, really nice tips. Um, I have already used them to make some press-on nails um, in the past. So yeah, I would actually recommend this. Uh, I would actually recommend this because it's like a ridiculous deal. So I picked this up. Next, I picked up some, um, some rhinestones. And this was a two-pack. Plus, it came with um, a tweezer and um, a wax pencil. And I think I paid 4 or $5 for this. I thought this was a great deal. Yeah, I really don't have any green rhinestones, so I wanted to make sure I added these to my collection. Um, but let me show you guys what these look like here. Yeah, these are really pretty. Yeah, I feel like, you know, Amazon's rhinestones are actually really good. I've gotten a couple of their rhinestones before and I must say I've been pretty happy and impressed with them so y'all do not sleep on these Amazon rhinestones okay that's what these look like really beautiful and some of these items, if I don't list them on my community tab, I lose. I do list them in my Amazon storefront. So make sure you guys too are also just always checking my Amazon storefront. Sometimes I do um, put items in there um, that's not listed on my community tab, especially under the pin section, uh, Rose's Amazon deals. I'm always adding items in there frequently. So yeah, definitely make sure you all are staying tuned to my Amazon storefront as well because these are in there. And yeah, I think I, like I said, it was like four or five bucks, really good deal. I also got the these rhinestones here these are really pretty these are some orange rhinestones this came in a two pack as well my other pack I don't know where I put it but um, these are really gorgeous I was on the search for yellow rhinestones and I didn't quite come close to this one this one is orange but it's still really pretty so I decided to keep it and this was only three dollars it was three dollars for a two pack so you pay a dollar and fifty for all these rhinestones just a great deal and then you guys I finally found yellow rhinestones I had been like like I said, looking high and low for them. I ordered a few thinking they were yellow and they came and they were a different color. So this pack here, I think I paid $4 for it. And it comes with the yellow rhinestones as well as some tweezers. And so I'm really excited to have these in my collection. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh my gosh. They're so beautiful. Wow, you guys, look at these. Oh, they are gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful, love it. Yes, I'm so glad I got these. Gorgeous, love it. The next item I got here is this, it's essentially a lint-free wipe dispenser. I didn't feel like I really needed this at first, but uh, one of my friends, she had it and it just looked really cool. So I thought I'd give it a try. So yeah, let me open this up for you guys and show you what it looks like. Ooh, this is cute. Okay, so it's just a clear dispenser and I like that it has like a silicone bottom so it's not gonna slide around. And I guess this is how you put in the lint-free wipes. So you just add them into here. Okay, and it's cool. So it has like these little spikes right here. So I'm guessing that's how they're able to dispense one wipe at a time. That's pretty cool. And then you normally just press the button to get it to come out. Um, I'm not exactly sure what, oh, this is if you wanna um, put it on the wall. Okay, this is if you wanna put it on the wall. Um, in your bathroom, if you, you know, using it to remove, you put in your makeup remover wipes and things like that. So this is if you want to adhere it to the wall, but I'm not planning on doing that. I'm going to have it here on my nail desk. Let's give it a try. So these are the lint-free wipes that I just got in that press-on nail kit. So let's give it a try and see, um, see how it works. And I'll go ahead and put my new scissors to the test. <laughs> so let's see, guys. Sweet. So you just take them, you open up the back here. I'm gonna make sure they're lined up properly and just stick it in, I guess, okay. Get 
just like this. I'm gonna close it here in the back and I'm gonna press it and see if it works. Cool, it works. It came out with two of them though, but you know, it still works nonetheless. Hmm. So yeah, every time I press it, two comes out, but you know what, I'm not mad. Because I always end up using about two wipes when I'm doing my nails anyway. So that is pretty cool. I like that a lot. So yeah, this is pretty dope. So this I have listed in my Amazon storefront under my nail art organization um, items. So yeah, but I'll go ahead and list it in the description box as well. But again, on my Amazon storefront, I'm listing a lot of these items. And I think I only paid 10 bucks for this. So this is pretty nifty. So the next item that I got here is this cool nail foil kit. So I believe I paid 7 or $8 for this. And I thought it was a great deal. It came with two packs of nail foils plus two foil glues and a silicone pusher. So I listed this, I think, around Halloween or Christmas time. But it comes with all of these cool Halloween nail foils. So this is what they all look like. Really cool, really pretty. And I like that they all kind of have that transparent background. So you can kind of pick and choose the image that you want to put on your nails. And then it also came with the Christmas nail foils. And not that I needed any more nail foils, you guys, but I here we are, I have them. So these are all Christmas themed nail foils. So I thought these were really cool to have. I really like this white one too. But again, they all have transparent backgrounds, which I really like when foils do that, because you can really just kind of cut out the image you want and only use that. Um, so yeah, I thought that was really cool. And then the main reason I got these actually is for these glues. Um, so while these are foil glues, and I will test it with nail foils to see um, how it works. And I have like two dedicated videos testing out UV foil glues from one from a cart, one from Beatles. I'll leave that linked in the description box in case you guys want to check that out. But I've heard great things about this star glue, but I've also seen people use it as a peel off base coat as well as liquid latex around the nails if you're doing nail art. So I thought this was a pretty versatile product. And let me show you guys what it looked like. So yeah, it looks like it's an air dry foil glue, but yeah, I'm gonna be excited to try it with the foils as well as trying it as a peel off base. Cause like I said, I've seen a couple people use it as a peel off base and it seems to work really well for them. So yeah, I got these and I love the fact that it came with two of them. And then it also came with this silicone tool. So that's gonna be good for pressing down those foils when you're trying to get them to transfer and then some more scissors. So yeah. That is cool. Yeah, this entire kit was only seven bucks, so you can't beat that. I did also pick up some stamping plates. So I listed this on my community tab. I believe I paid $5 for these. So it came with six stamping plates, the jelly stamper, and the scraper. And I believe I paid five bucks for these. I can't quite remember at this point, you guys, but it comes with a Halloween themed plate, which is really cool. This is another Halloween themed plate. I love the fact that it has like the different faces for the pumpkins. It has ghosts, a haunted house, a bat. So I thought these are really cool. Another Halloween one. So that's cool. Look at that scary hand with the eyeball. That's pretty dope. And it also has this, spider webs, ghosts, skulls. That's cool. That's this here. More skeletons, haunted house, ghost. It kind of looks like the scream face here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And then here is more bats, spider webs, etc. So I must have purchased this around Halloween. So yeah, I thought this was a really cool kit. I have this. So this video is going, this video is getting a little bit long. So I'm going to show you all two more items that I got. And I'll probably have to do a separate, another Amazon nail supply haul to show you all the other items. But I'm going to show you two more items that I got from Amazon. And then I want to hop into some of these PR packages that I got. Because unfortunately, I don't have time to film looks for each of these packages. So I just want to show you all what these items look like. So you guys, I got this gel polish kit for $4. This is probably, I feel like, one of my most popular listings um, that I've put on my Amazon storefront and on my community tab. But it's from um, the brand Castany, which I've seen on Amazon a lot. I actually have a few of their kits. I just haven't had a chance to review them yet. Um, but they kind of put me in the mind of Beatles polishes. And so this kit was only $4, you guys. And it came with 24 gel polishes plus the gel base top and matte top coat. Y'all, you cannot beat this, okay? 
So this is what the kit looks like. I know a few of my subscribers were able to get their hands on this, so I was so happy about that. But yeah, it comes with um, the user manual and then all of these gel polishes, you guys. Um, so I wanted to show you all really quick. They So the, the top coat, the base coat, and the matte top coat are all 7.5 ml. And so this is just a quick look of what that looks like. It's kind of, of a thicker, yeah, it's a little bit of a thicker gel, which is nice. You guys know I love thicker gel polishes. This is the base coat that it comes with. This one's, this one's of a medium viscosity. Oh, no, it's a little bit thinner of a consistency. This is the glossy top coat. And that is what this looks like. So you guys, this is 24 gel polishes. I'm not gonna go through and show you guys what each one, each individual one looks like. I'm hoping I can do a review on this separately. Um, so yeah, but I'll just go through and show you all maybe like one or two of the colors. So this here is a brown. Um, so these, the actual gel polish colors do come in a 5 ml bottle, which, you know, again, if you wanna just get, if you wanna grow your gel polish collection, this is like such an affordable way to do it. Oh, that's pretty so that's what that color looks like these feel like they are of a nice consistency again I feel like these are gonna put me in the mind of Beatles but again I haven't actually had a chance to like play with them but I do have a few of their kits this is what the green looks like okay this is cute this is like an olive green this is a gray that came in the kit so these are kind of muted tone colors but yeah that's a really pretty gray so this is giving you all an idea of what these colors look like, but I'm really hoping at some point I can come through and do a full review on these because this was such a great deal. Again, I paid $4 for this kit, you guys. Crazy. And again, I'm happy some of my subscribers were able to get their hands on it. So again, y'all stay tuned to my community tab and my Amazon storefront. This is where I post all of these deals. So that is that. And then the last Amazon item I'm going to show you guys before I hop into my PR packages is this cordless wireless rechargeable lamp. Wow. So I actually haven't bought a nail lamp in a really long time. I'm still using my Beatles nail lamp that I got with the gel polish kit like almost two years ago. But I definitely wanted to show you guys this lamp because it was a good deal. So I paid $25 for this lamp and it was rechargeable and cordless. So let's take a look. So it is a 65 watt lamp and yeah let's just unbox it and show you guys what it looks like i'm excited to have it so this is the user manual and this is what the lamp itself looks like okay so <clears throat> wow yeah you guys this is really nice i like so right off the bat i like the fact that it comes with the handle on the back so it makes it like travel friendly so if you guys are traveling nail techs or if you just move, want to move to different areas of your house, you actually have a handle to carry your lamp with. So that's pretty cool and different. Um, this here is the charging cord. So this is how you charge the lamp. And then this is just the actual lamp itself. So I'm going to see if it has any juice. So it's powered off right now. I'm going to go ahead and power it on. Sweet. And it does. So this is what the display screen looks like. Okay, and this is what it looks like turned on, right? So this, I love the fact that it has um, a low temperature setting. My current lamp does not have one. So whenever I'm doing like builder gel nails, like I do have a lot of heat spikes. So I like the fact that this one comes with a low heat mode. It comes with 90 seconds, 60 seconds, and 30 seconds. And so, yes, this nice, clean, crisp, white design. And as you see, it's auto on, auto off. So let me turn it this way. This is the 90 second mode and put my hand in here. It's super spacious, you guys. You see all this space, like super spacious. So I love that. Again, it's auto sensor. So when you put your hands in, it turns on. When you, put, when you take your hands out, it turns off. I don't know if you guys are able to see that, I'll do it again. And then the base actually does come off as well. I think it slides, okay, there we go, yeah. And so it slides off. And then these are all the light, the LED lights that are in here. So again, this is what it looks like on. Really nice. And I like that I can feel that it's like a, a nice high powered lamp. So that's pretty nice. 
and that's what it looks like off. Again, 60 watts, cordless, rechargeable. I did list this on my community tab as well, you guys. I was super excited when I found this deal and definitely wanted to share it with you. I feel like a few people were able to get their hands on it, but this was such a good deal. I think it's sold out now, but if I do find a similar listing of a cordless rechargeable map, I'll go ahead and make sure I list that for you guys. But I'm excited to have this and it's not too big. And again, I can feel the power of this lamp. Let's do 30 seconds. Yeah, I can feel the power of it. And it's just, again, it's just really spacious, right? Like see how much I can kind of move my hands around and actually get my thumb in there. Um, my current lamp that I have, I actually cure, it, cure my thumb separately. So I love that I can fit my whole hand in here with space to spare. <laughs> And then it has the countdown timer on here. So I don't know if you guys are able to see that. But yeah, I'm really liking that I picked this up. And when I'm not using it, I just go ahead and turn it off. I think that helps to conserve the battery life of it. I thought this was a really good deal for a cordless rechargeable lamp. Um, I feel like these can average anywhere from, if you're looking on Amazon, from 70, from 60 to $70 upwards of hundreds of dollars if you're looking at some of the you know the popular names um like the kiera skies and the not polishes of the world um that stuff can get really expensive so i was happy i was able to find one that was affordable that looks nice and sleek for 25 bucks can't beat it you guys can't beat it so i thought this was a really nice upgrade for my lamp so yeah, I think that's all the items I got from Amazon. I do want to go ahead and show you guys some PR that I've recently got in um, and just showcase that really quick. Sound. The first couple of PR packages I'm going to show, um, you are able to still get these items on Amazon, which is really amazing. So um, I want to give a special shout out to BT Art Box. They were kind enough to send me some more of their press on nails. You guys know I am obsessed with BT Art Box press on nails. So these are the ones that they sent over for me to try. So this is what they're looking like. So they were kind enough to send me a card. So I thought that was really sweet. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what these press-ons are looking like. They know that I'm like obsessed with their press-ons. Um, so the first two we got here is their, this one is a cat eye press-on nail. Uh, these are really cute. It's that nice almond shape. You all have seen me do a full review on almond shape press on nails from BT Art Box. I am going to leave that linked in the description box as well as link it here in the cards. But these last, these are press ons. You don't have to put top coat, don't have to put base coat, you don't have to do anything to them. You just put them on and they wear. The BT Art Box nail glue is also really good and really strong. I've gotten two weeks to wear just using the glue alone. So, yeah, love these press on nails a lot. Um, these are their coffin shaped ones. This is a baby bloomer, a baby bloomer, boomer. Yeah, this is a baby boomer set. Absolutely gorgeous. Love how this looks. Um, I haven't tried their coffin shape yet, but I did do their square tips. Again, absolutely beautiful. Just the quality is just top notch. Um, these are some new press on nails that they have, which I'm excited to try. Um, these are called X coat tips and it's three in one soft gel system. So they've essentially done all the work for you. Looks like they put on a primer first, then they did the soft gel tip and then they did a base coat so I believe this particular set comes with 150 pieces and it's 15 different sizes and you guys the design is already there for you love this I like that they decided to use a classic French tip for some press-ons because you can never go wrong with that design and I love the fact that it, this is a this is a kit that has tips for all nail beds for 15 different sizes you're gonna get wide all the way up to super narrow so yeah I you all know I love 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 the fit of the BTR box press on nails you see how it very easily fits sidewall to sidewall for me just just these tips are just, I, I love them. I really do. Um, so I'm going to be really excited to get some more out of these. But how cute is this? Yes, Lord. This is hot, y'all. Hot, hot, hot. So, yeah, I think they did a really good job. I'm loving that pink nail bed on these as well. And again, like I said, they go all the way down to like super, super narrow nail beds. Like, I love that they have that variety, that range, you know. Um, this one is one that probably would fit on my index finger, but yeah, I just love the fit of them. They have a nice little apex on them, um, flush to the cuticle. Just, yeah, if you guys have not tried the BTR box press on nails or even their full cover tips, you're missing out because they're really great. I think I've reviewed two or three of their press on nails on my channel. 
So again, I'll link reviews to how they wear, but y'all, this stuff top notch. And then these are the other press on nails they sent. So these, so this one was a medium coffin shape, and this one here is a medium square. Absolutely loving how these look. And again, so this one, so this box you can see is a little bit thicker. So I believe this is the box that has 300 of the nail tips in it, and it comes with 15 different sizes. Um, and again, it's, these are the X coat tips. So these are the ones that they do the, the three in one soft gel system. And yes, y'all, y'all get a butt ton of tips. Like this comes with a lot of nail tips. Like look at how many is in here. This is amazing. I love that they offer this. And I and I looked these up. I believe these are only like $10 or $15 um, on Amazon as well as on their website. I'm going to leave both of the links down below. I do have a discount code with BTR Box if you end up shopping their website. So I'll leave it here on the screen as well as down below. But then, they're, like I said, they're also available on Amazon. Whichever one ends up working out to be the better price, definitely go and check them out. But look at this, y'all. Look at this. I am living. I am living for this nail bed color. Look at, ugh, absolutely love it. Beautiful fit, beautiful curve. I just, yeah. Ugh, gorgeous. Okay. So, yeah, these are all the press on nails that I got from BT Art Box. Special shout out to BT Art Box once again because they know I love their press on nails, the full cover tips. So, Next time I do a press on nail video, it's probably going to be with these tips because y'all know I love them. Next item that I got is from Rosalind. So special shout out to them as well. They sent this kit over and I believe this is a glitter gel polish set. So let's take a look at these. Okay. So these are 7ml bottles and it comes with all glitter polishes. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of these out so we can get a closer look. It comes with 6 gel polishes. So it doesn't look like they have names. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the colors really quick. So this is a really beautiful purple gel polish. Love that, it's super cute. Another glitter here, I believe this is a rose gold glitter. Let's take a look, ooh yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty, I like that. It's a little bit thick though, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it's a little bit thick and goopy. Um, so yeah, not sure if that's just the consistency of their glitter polishes. I've tried other nail polishes from Rosalind, but I think it was their Nail Wind collection. So this is my first time trying like an actual Rosalind gel polish. Yeah, they're, I mean, these are nice. Um, these are nice colors, but I feel like the formula is a bit goopy. Um, but let's see how they swatch, you know, I'm all about performance, right? So this is the next color here. Again, I don't see names on it. Oh wait, yes I do. Okay, here we go. So they're on the side here. It's really hard to see. So this color here is C500. Let's see. Okay, so this is a really pretty purple glitter. C499. Okay, this is another purple, but a little bit deeper. Yeah, you guys, I don't know how I feel about the consistency of them. Like I said, they're very, very thick and goopy. So yeah, I'll see how the performance is though. C501. Okay. Oh, this is a pretty green though. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these swatched out really quick just to show you guys kind of what they're looking like. So the first one I'm gonna swatch out here is C497. Okay, so this is what that looks like. I mean, it's a really pretty glitter though. Application is not bad at all. Oh, okay. I can see why it might be a little bit goopy and chunky. It looks like it actually has different, it has foil flakes in here along with the actual glitters. I think that's why it's a little bit goopy. Because I, like I said, I've, I've used their polishes before. I didn't remember them being this consistency. I think it's because they have glitters plus foils in there. But yeah, that's a really pretty color. I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Next color here is C498. Yeah, it's pretty opaque though for glitter. They apply pretty good and I like the fact that it has those foils in there along with the glitters. It's, it's different. It's unique. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Okay, happy people. So overall, I feel like these Rosalind glitter gel polishes did apply very well. I thought they were pretty opaque um, for them being a glitter. Um, I do also have a discount code. Um, for 10% off of this set. I am going to leave it linked here on the screen as well as in the description box in case you guys want to get your hands on it. This is what all of the Rosalind glitter polishes look like swashed out. So this is the collection right here. 
and like I said these are all the colors they're really pretty I think that they were thicker they're of a thicker consistency because they have so much going on with them they have fine glitters hollow glitters as well as the foil flakes in them so yeah this is what this collection looks like I did get some new colors in from nail reserve and I'm gonna go ahead and get these all unboxed and swatch for you guys first off we have electric rose and this is a really pretty, vibrant baby pink color. Really nice. Wanderer, which is this really gorgeous, creamy, kind of off white, grayish ivory color. It's really pretty. I had to get another backup of Sea Swing and Sun. This is one of my favorite nudes. So we have this. This color is just beautiful. Love this color. If y'all don't have this in your collection, you definitely should. Ice Latte, which is also another beautiful nude color. Look at that, really nice light brown color. Love that. It's kind of similar to Sea Swing and Sun. Yes, yeah, it's, it's kind of similar actually. Let me show you guys. So this is what the two look like side by side. So this is Sea Swing and Sun, and this is the Ice Latte. Persephone which is this really really beautiful dark brown color. I realized I don't have a really nice brown. Actually, this is like a perfect brown. I don't have any really good browns in my collection, so I wanted to get one. Um, and then also too, it's so funny, I have an old coworker, she actually named her daughter Persephone, so that's cool to find a polish that has that name too. Rainforest Queen. Let's take a look at this. Wow, this is a really beautiful, really kind of like a dark emerald green. It's like a dark green that has like um, green emerald flakes in it. Really gorgeous. Province, which is this beautiful, vibrant purple color. I also was looking for a really good purple for my collection. This is really beautiful. Black Addict. I realized I did not have a black from Black Addict, so I went ahead and got one of these, and this is a really nice black. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get these colors swatched out. Okay, happy people, you all know that I am no stranger to the Nail Reserve polishes. They are absolutely beautiful. They are opaque and they do give that one coat coverage. So yeah, this here is that Sea Swing and Sun I was telling you all about, that absolutely perfect nude. But yeah, I do have a discount code with Nail Reserve, but I am gonna leave it here on the screen as well as down in the description box below. Um, it is for 50% off. So if you all wanna get your hands on some of these polishes, I do recommend them. I also have a lot of tutorials on the Nail Reserve polishes. So if you all wanna see some looks that I've created with them, I'll also leave that link down in the description box below. I also want to say thank you to you all for the warm birthday wishes. They were well received. I definitely appreciate each and every last one of you guys. My birthday was a blast. I went out of town this past weekend with my family and it was a really, really nice time. This is what all the colors are looking like swatched out. We have um, Persephone, Sea Swing and Sung, Iced Coffee, Electric Rose, Province, Black Addict, Rainforest Queen, and Wanderer. These are absolutely beautiful colors. These are some new products I got in from Born Pretty. Um, I must say I'm loving their new packaging. It's kind of like this black and gold um, reflective situation. I don't know, it's really nice. It's giving Lux vibes, okay? It's giving Lux vibes. So this is their, I think, rubber base coat. Now look at, look at this. Okay, Born Pretty, wow. Yeah, this is fancy though, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> This is really nice. Love the new packaging. You guys knocked it out the park with this. It even gives the instructions right here on the inside of the packaging. How innovative is that? Love it. Love it. This new packaging is everything. And y'all, let's get a moment for this matte bottle. Oh my gosh. Like, this is really nice. Wow. I'm speechless right now. I love this. Okay, so let's check a look. I don't even remember what color. Okay. So I got the RBG06, and this is the rubber base gel. Y'all, this, this bottle though, uh, is giving Lux vibes. Ooh, this is a pretty pink color, wow. Okay, the rubber base coat seems like it's of a good consistency. You know, you would expect it to be a little bit thicker since it's a rubber base coat. I'm loving this. And this is something you guys, you can use to protect your natural nails. You can use rubber base coat to, um, if you want to apply gel X nails, like the possibilities are endless with rubber base coat. So yeah, I'm excited to have this color. I'm going to get it swatched out here in a second for you guys. The next color I got, which I'm just, okay, let's, oh, yes, Lord. Okay. I'm, I'm loving, loving this packaging. Born pretty. 
well done okay well done again and instructions on the inside there and this is what this is looking like i want to get more of these actually i want the whole collection of this i'm gonna have to go back to their website and probably snag up the rest of these i just i'm loving this right here this color is rbg02 and this is more of a lighter pink color Ooh, pretty this is a really nice soft pink color how cute and dainty is this this is really nice oh my gosh yeah i want this whole collection these are really beautiful really beautiful wow i like this a lot so these are the two rubber base coats i got and then they also sent me over i believe these are chrome polishes i saw these on their website and i thought this was really interesting so i wanted to get them and show them to you all yeah that's cool so it's liquid chrome so you know a lot of times when we're doing chrome nails it's in a powder form this is that but in a liquid form so yeah i'm gonna get that swatched out for you guys here shortly as well it came with another color here and that is i don't know the, okay the colors are at the bottom so yeah liquid aurora aurora powder ap004 color really beautiful blue with the purple hue and then this one is the AP006, which is like a mint green with like a, a gold hue. I also got this beautiful glitter. So this is a thermal changing reflective glitter. So I actually saw this on Nell by Nelly's channel and I thought it was amazing. So um, I'm going to get that swatched out for you guys as well. Let's start with these rubber base coats. So this, the first one here is RBG06. This is this really beautiful pink color. Yeah, this is really nice. Beautiful consistency. Easy to go on. I'm loving it. Yeah, I need this whole collection, y'all. This is nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. And it self-levels nicely as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. RBG02. This is gorgeous. Yeah, y'all, I think I've been really sleep on rubber base gels. Like this is this is amazing. I I'm gonna go get this whole collection. That's nice. And then these two Aurora pot liquid powders. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these swatched out as well. So I'm finally getting to pull out these swatch sticks. Um, I normally pre I pre swatch these three ones just so y'all can see what the stuff looks like. So this is a nail lacquer. So this is a nail polish, but it's an Aurora powder. So this was an AP004. So I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like swatched out on white, black, and then by itself. So this is what it looks like swatched out on white. Okay. It's kind, of, it's kind of giving a little bit. It's kind of giving a little bit. And let's see what it looks like swatched out on black. Okay, yeah, you can really see it on the black. Okay. And then I'm going to show you all what it looks like swatched out on clear. Okay, yeah, definitely definitely something where you'll want to have a background color to it. Okay. Yeah, I think it shows up best on the black. So this is what the 004 color looks like. Okay, you guys, so I actually just um, read the instructions for how to do these Aurora liquid powders. And I was actually supposed to apply top coat and rub it in like I would an actual powder. So um, I did already apply top coat to all of the swatches and now I want to try it again to see if it's going to work. So they said to shake it up really good so that it applies evenly. Then I'm supposed to apply it to the nail like so, but then I'm supposed to rub it in right after to get the chrome effect. So just like you would a regular powder. So I'm going to go ahead and rub it in and see what happens. Okay, I think that's giving more of a chrome effect. Let me do it with the black. I feel like the black, you, sh you see it a lot better. Like that, and then you're supposed to just rub it in. Okay, yeah, I think that, that did work, actually. Yeah, 
Ah, well that's cool. Yeah, it works. It works when you rub it in, like I guess how it was intended to be used. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do it on the clear swatch just to see what happens with it here. So it definitely works better when you rub it in, but if I'm being honest, I think that the actual powder itself is easier to use and gives a better chrome effect. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try the other one to see if I can get it to look even better. This one here is the AP006 color. And again, I've already applied a top coat to the nails. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the liquid chrome on. And then they say you're supposed to rub it in. It definitely chromes better when you rub it in though. Yeah, you see, it does chrome. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's a different product. It's it's new and different. It did chrome though, so but again, it's I don't know, I feel like when I used the actual chrome powder, it worked a little bit better. So maybe it's just a trial and error. Maybe I need to practice with this a little bit more to see if I can get it to to really work. Um, but yeah, it, it does chrome. So yeah, that's what that looks like. And then for this thermal glitter, I'm gonna just put down a base coat on a swatch stick and dip it in there. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. This is really pretty though, really gorgeous. Go in with a layer of base coat. From there, I'm just going to go ahead and actually dip it right inside of the glitter, like so. Wow, that's pretty. I'm going to go ahead and cure that. You can already see the reflex without even curing. That's pretty. Wow. It's messy, but it's almost worth the mess with how gorgeous it is, you know? This is what the, the rubber base gels look like. I am absolutely in love with these. So this one is the RBG02, and this one here is the RBG06. I just, I'm absolutely in love with these colors and how these gels feel. So I am definitely, definitely gonna be going back and getting these. I did check on Born Pretty's website. These retail for about seven bucks and I do have a discount code with them. So I'm gonna leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box. So that's for their entire website. But y'all, these right here are legit. I like the Born Pretty Pro line. This is this is nice. The liquid chrome powders, like, I mean, they do work, right? But I will say that I think I just prefer to use actual chrome powders. Like to me, I don't feel like it's as, like there's still some spots in it and maybe it's just a trial and everything, but um, they're still the fun to play with and try out nonetheless and y'all this glitter is absolutely stunning i am really excited about this i want to show y'all what that reflect looks like like wow it literally looks like it's diamonds on the glitter i love this even without the flash you all can see how beautiful this is I might go back and get some more of these glitters these glitters are only like two bucks so yeah really nice and let me show y'all what the thermal looks like this is what the glitter looks like after it has been warmed up and as you all can see here the pink color is starting to make its way back down i just this glitter this is like probably the most fun glitter i've ever used in my life <laughs> i love it and let me show you guys again what it looks like with that flash just really beautiful i mean it just it looks like diamonds in a rough like i love it Absolutely love it. So yeah, if you all have not checked out these Born Pretty Thermal Glitters, highly, highly, highly recommend them. These are nice. I do have a Born Pretty discount code, so I'm gonna leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below. Special thanks for Born Pretty for sending these over to me to review. And then last but definitely not least, Madam Glam was kind enough to send me over some more of their gel polishes and they actually sent me some of their minis. I've not tried any of their mini polishes before, but if they're anything like the full size bottles, that means that they are amazing. So I am gonna go ahead and go through and swatch all of these colors. The first color that I got here is Maze. So that's what this color looks like, really beautiful. Walk in the Park. Oh, that's nice. So this is like a muted green color. Perfect white. I actually do have perfect white in a full size 
and I enjoy it a lot, especially for nail art. So this is what perfect white looks like. Really beautiful white color. Deep emerald. Wow, this is a cool color. This is a really deep green color. It almost looks black. That's really beautiful. And the last color here is we were on a break. So this is from Friends. You guys know I love Friends. And this is what that color looks like. So it's a really, it's a muted brown color, which I don't know that I have anything like this in my collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these swatched. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna get these swatched so y'all can see what they look like. I'm really excited to swatch this deep emerald color. So I'm gonna start with that one. You all know Madame Glam polishes are really good. Wow, look at that. I just, I love how deep this green is. Like, I don't have anything like this in my collection. This is nice. And this is just one coat of coverage, you guys. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next we have Perfect White. Which, if I'm being honest with you guys, it looks like they might have changed the formula of the Perfect White a little bit. Because it doesn't look as like white and as stark of a white as I was used to from the original Perfect White that I have. So, I wonder if they might have went back and rechanged the formula. Because this one doesn't look... This one looks like more of a softer white than that really stark white because the other white I have, it has more of like a blue undertone to it and this one doesn't really seem to have that, but it's a beautiful white nonetheless. Okay, happy people. So you all know that I am a big fan of Madame Glam gel polishes. As you all can see, they're super opaque, one coat coverage, they're vegan, hema fee, cruelty free, 21 free, all that good stuff. I do have a discount code with them. I'll leave it here on the screen as well as in the description box below. And a big shout out to Madame Gum for sending these over for review. It's a really beautiful collection. I'm really obsessed with this uh, deep emerald color. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a deep green. Um, but then we also have Walk in the Park, Perfect White, Maze, and we were on a break. So yeah, these are all some really beautiful colors. I do have a discount code with Madam Glam for 30% off, so I'll leave that code here on the screen, as well as in the description box in case you guys wanna check them out. Alrighty, so this is everything that I hauled in my most recent Amazon nail supply haul slash a little bit of PR that I've gotten from a variety of different companies. Um, you all let me know what was your favorite item that I hauled. Um, for me, my favorite item would have been this $4 gel polish kit that came with 24 pieces. I also really enjoyed these Born Pretty rubber base coats. These are bomb.com. I also love the little press on nail kit that I got that came with these little nail stands. Um, like I said, I couldn't fit everything in screen. Oh, I also really love this rechargeable lamp, you guys. That was a steal. So let me know what your favorite item was that I hauled. Obviously, I love me some Madame Lamb Nail Reserve gel polishes and these BT Art Box nails, y'all. If Again, if y'all haven't checked them out, please do. With all the companies I mentioned at the end, I do have discount codes with them, so I'm gonna leave everything here on the screen as well as in the description box. Again, as a reminder, definitely stay tuned to my community tab so you all can take advantage of my Amazon finds when I find them because typically when I have time to film, the deals are already sold out. And I will also leave a link to my community. That's my little one. I do. I will also leave a link to my community tab in the description box as well. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around and join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. Hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye! <laughs> That's my little one. <laughs> Time to go.